control room to blockhouse. Meteorite dispersal missile J-17 warrior ready for launch. Won't be long now, Matt. Zero minus four minutes? All systems check, Steve. She's gonna be successful. I sure hope so. That belt of meteorites has got to be shifted. I know, Steve. They're a danger to every astronaut in that area. Demolition power head signals are in order, Lieutenant. How are the boys at the controls? Okay, I guess, Steve. It's always a tense moment just before launching. Zero minus two minutes. If this operation is successful, it will eliminate every meteorite in the belt. Sixty seconds to zero. Stand by for liftoff. All systems still check, Matt. J-17 Warrior looks good, Steve. Zero minus 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, Stand by to ignite missile head fuse. 20, 19, 18, Fire fuse. 17, 16, 16, 15, 15, 15, 14, 14, 14, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. The dispersal head has been activated. 9, 8, hey, no 7, hitches, Steve. She's six, okay. 5, 4, 3, 3 2, one, zero, ignition. All systems, go, go, go. A-OK. -okay. Well, it won't be long before those meteorites are finished. G-17 warrior is out of our atmosphere. Say, Steve, what's this planet here? That's Rajaska, Venus. Because of the meteorites, we have little knowledge of the planet. But we know that it's inhabited. Won't the dispersal head explosion affect the planet? Oh, by no means, Venus. Rajeska's many miles from the blast and radiation area. Missile has been fired from Earth. Track it, Zodan. As you command, High Priest of Rajuska.
the missile is getting closer, Kazark. How dare the Earthmen attempt to put another sun in our sky? There can only be one great light in our solar system. The Earth people also have a sun, Kazakh. This I know, Zoda. But it is not as great or as bright as the mighty Miras. Come, we will pray and ask Miras what he would have us do. Avenge the evil Earthmen. It shall be done. The meteorite dispersal bomb has sure been a great success, Steve. Well, that's a relief for us astronauts, Commander. Well, I uh, may wonder what mysteries await us out there. I guess we'll find out soon enough. What's happened, Commander? A concentrated ray has hit the launching site, Steve. Everything's destroyed. I have a fix on the ray source. It came from the planet Rajuska. It, they must think that our dispersal bomb is a, is a threat to them. Guess we'd better get up there and put them straight. Does anyone mind if I take Zuni along? Well, I guess not, Venus, if you insist. Did you hear that, Zuni? Now I can teach you some more words. Welcome home. Oh, come on. Follow me. Off, eh? Okay. You can relax, Venus. You've got plenty of time to teach your pooch some new words. Sure, Steve. Guess I'll go into the lounge. Follow me, Zuni. <laughs>
Come on, Zuni. Wake up and pay attention. Well, come home. But Zuni, you learned that months ago. I want you to say howdy, folks. Now follow what I'm saying. Follow me. Takeoff rocket and bomb made a fine job of the meteorites, Matt. Yes, Steve. Uh, we're flying through the area now, and uh, there's not a sign of them. How's the radiation? Pretty strong, Steve. But uh, there's no danger of it penetrating Fireball's walls. We're in orbit around Rajiska now, Steve. Thanks, Matt. Robertson Central Control. Roger, Steve. Stand by to detach nose cone and uh, keep in touch, Steve. Let's get out our jetmobiles, Venus. We've got to locate that ray. What's, uh, what's that building? It looks like a, a temple of some sort. Uh, uh, Steve, there's a dome structure uh, just over the horizon. Roger, Matt. We'll check that out first. Hot Venus. Yes, Steve, but it does make a change from those cold planets we've been used to. Look, there's the building the professor told us about. Yeah, well, let's take a closer look. Where's Venus? She's vanished. What do you want with me? How did I get here? Miras, our great son, demands a sacrifice for your planet's evil. You are that sacrifice. You were blinded momentarily by the sun ray. Wh what have you done with Steve? Steve Zodiac? Do not rely on him to rescue you. It will be impossible for him to enter the sun temple. Not a trace of her. Maybe the professor saw what happened. Uh, I didn't see a thing, Steve. I was uh, blinded by the ray. I must find Venus. She may be in danger. I'm going to head for the temple, Matt. Uh, be careful, Steve. The great Ra 
god of mirrors is now in line with its master. See, the light shines high on the wall. As the sun rises, so the rod of Mira swings, and the burning kiss of our mighty god will draw closer. That sun is getting hotter and hotter. Three hours to go before noon, and it's, it's like an oven down here already. Steve, Steve will guess I'm in here. He must. Must be an entrance here somewhere. There's got to be a way in. Oh. oh, Steve, Zuni, where are you? Oh, follow me. Welcome home. Hey, where are you off to? Welcome home. Follow me. Say, Matt, what's gone wrong with this crazy creature? Hey, Steve, the Lejeune has a strange sense. He can receive thought waves. Of course. All the creatures on Kalevio where Zuni came from have this telepathic power. That's right, Steve. He must have picked up Venus's thoughts. I sure hope so. Okay, Zuni, let's go. Steve, Zuni, where are you? Follow me, follow me, follow me. What are you trying to tell me, Lizzo? What is it? <laughs> the Earthman is near the outside entrance, Kazar. He will never enter the temple alive. <laughs> <laughs> follow me. Why so much interest in that plant, Zuni? Let's take a look at it. Follow me. Zodiac and his creature are in the temple, Kaza. Very well. All is ready for them. Gee, it sure is dark in here. What's wrong, Sonny? Why have you stopped? The roof! It's coming down towards us. It's going to crush us. Follow me! Follow me! Roof has reached floor Kazakh. Good. Return it to normal position. We have nothing to fear from the Earthman now. We will watch the great Miras devour his sacrifice. <laughs> It will not be long before Miras has had his revenge on the Earth Woman. She will soon be scorched 
by his powerful rays. Venus! No, Steve, not them, the consul. So done! To the escape chamber! Open the outer hatch. It will not work. We are trapped. Quick, Venus, make for that escape hatch where Zuni is standing. Follow me! Come, Robert. Stand by to connect up. Is there more more survive one six zero green? I uh, I contacted the people of Rajiska who inhabit the fertile part of the planet. It appears that those two fiends were banished to the desert because of their evil hocus-pocus. Well, there's no need to worry about them or their son anymore. Say, just look at Zuni. He sure proved a great help, eh, Venus? I guess he's not so dumb after all. Howdy, folks. No, no, Zuni, not now. It's the end. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes We'd take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball 